A discussion subscriptions are a way to be notified that new activity has occurred within a forum, a topic, or a thread. By default, when you or a student creates a thread or a post, you are automatically subscribed. So what I'm talking about here is if I go into a discussion, let's go over here, and I start a thread, you'll notice right here, subscribe to the thread. So automatically you are subscribed to the thread. The same thing will happen if you go into a discussion area and you go into a specific thread and you reply to a post or reply to the thread, you'll be subscribed to the thread. Now the type of notification is up to you. There are three methods. So the first method, if I click on this, let me get unsubscribe, let me click on this, and you'll see here's the three methods. Show notification in the mini bar only. That's over here. The second one is send an email, uh, send me an instant notification. Uh, this type is very intrusive because you get an email every single time there's a new thread or a new post. And lastly, include in my summary of activity, that email will go um, once a day and you'll get a summary of all the activity that was going on and you have links that go to it. So the different kind, there's different levels of subscriptions too. And we'll be talking more about that in the, in the in tutorial on managing your subscriptions. If you subscribe, so if I subscribe, let me unsubscribe. If I subscribe to a forum, then all of the topics within that forum and all of the threads within that forum and all of the posts within that forum will automatically be subscribed. If I subscribe to a specific thread or topic, then all of the threads within that topic and all of the posts within that will then, I will then be notified. And then finally, if I go into a specific um, topic and I go to a specific thread, I can subscribe to that specific thread. And if I subscribe to that thread, then all of the posts within that thread I'm subscribed to. Now, you can easily subscribe and unsubscribe. And again, there'll be a set of tutorials on that. But if I easily subscribe, and then it'll tell me what email it's being sent to. And if I click subscribe, then it's subscribed. If I want to unsubscribe, I click on it and I unsubscribe. Of course, there is another way. And again, this will be a whole tutorial on going to subscriptions and managing all of your subscriptions in one place so you know where what subscriptions you have and what you don't. What happens with the, with the subscriptions, and you'll see this right here, is you'll get the subscription alerts. So a little red dot, this is the one in the mini bar, tells me, oh, there's a new post because it's in, in bold. It'll also give me the post from the last few days. And what's nice and why this is useful and helpful is that I can keep informed without ever having to go to the class. So if I come into my, e my, my course and I just click on my subscription alerts or if I see a red dot, I know there's a new subscription. And if I click on that, it immediately takes me into the course. Doesn't matter which course I'm teaching, immediately takes me to that discussion topic or the thread or whatever and immediately lets me see what's going on inside the course. This is really kind of nice if you have a very discussion rich course that you can quickly review the posts and know what's going on. You can deal with them and then move on to the next course. So I can go here and see, oh, there's my, po there's my post. And in this case, this is at a thread level and I can see the various threads within that. So subscriptions are a very, very useful thing in my courses. I encourage you to understand them 